very first experience was a class in, I took in college that was an introduction to proofs class. Sort of like the class I'm teaching now, except the class I'm teaching now is focused on number theory and that class featured a broad range of different mathematics topics. The professor would lecture for a few of the days during the week and then we would have theorems that we would work on outside of class to prove and then we pr would present our proofs in class. So that part of it was kind of like the class that I teach now. So that was probably my first experience with an active learning or an IBL style classroom um, where it wasn't just a traditional lecture. And I really got a lot out of that class and enjoyed it quite a bit. Pretty much all of my classes in graduate school were traditional lecture, you know, information dumps where the professor would just write across the board and then start back again and write all the way across the board and it was just there and proof, there and proof, there and proof. And so I just had to furiously scribble down notes and then, you know, outside of class figure out what the heck was going on and that was really challenging and probably not the best way to learn. And so I was interested in trying to teach in a way that was more active for the students and, and had more inquiry-based learning elements, but I wasn't really sure how to. And then when I was in at Dartmouth as a postdoc, I attended a, an active learning workshop. It wasn't focused on math, but they presented evidence about how students really benefit from having activities where they're, where they're actually working on things in class as opposed to just listening to a lecture. Um, and so that sort of got me thinking about it, but I didn't really get a chance to have the time to develop um, alternate ways of teaching until I was here at Western. I knew that this was a class that I was going to be teaching a lot because I'm the only number theorist right now um, in our department. Um, and the class is Introduction to Proofs via Number Theory. So it really has the dual purpose of being a first class where students learn how to read and write mathematical proofs of theorems. But they're also supposed to get some number theory content. So I spent a summer uh, with a summer uh, teaching grant developing um, my approach, and I kind of wanted an, I wanted an aspect of discovery, sort of inquiry-based approach, where they were actually playing around with examples and trying to see the patterns themselves and maybe arrive at what the theorems should be in general, and then having the theorems and proving them and presenting their proofs to the class. So that's sort of... That, that I wanted to have those two features, and so the way it ended up was I have the material divided into eight modules based on topic, and they all kind of build on each other. And then in each module, they first have a worksheet they work on in groups in class, and here they get definitions and basically get a chance to get their hands dirty with actual concrete examples. We're proving things about numbers, divisibility, prime numbers, and so they're things that they're basically familiar with anyway, but they haven't thought about formally. So they can play around with examples and try and figure out what the patterns are and see what might be true. And then we have a, then I give them a list of theorems, which they formalize the patterns that they have discovered in the worksheet. And there are more theorems that sort of build off of those topics. And then they work on those outside of class. They work on uh, coming up with their own proofs. And then in class, they present the proofs. And the class sort of acts as the mathematical community, critiquing the proofs, um, giving hopefully helpful suggestions. Um, ways to either um, improve the quality of the writing or correct any errors that there may be. And, and the, it's the class's job to determine in sort of in the end if the proof is valid or not.